These shelves are empty now, but in the coming weeks they will fill with books, music and resources as the Liverpool Central Library prepares to reopen to the public. In June 2010, the building on William Brown Street was closed for the £50 million redevelopment, and now final preparations are underway ahead of a grand reopening on May 17th. Grade 2 starred listed parts of the library have been restored to their former glory, while the revamped main atrium is one of the brightest and most architecturally fascinating indoor spaces in the city. Joyce Little, Head of Libraries and Information Services at Liverpool City Council, showed us round and is looking forward to the library being reopened. It's so exciting. In May 2013, this year, the Liverpool Central Library and Archive will be reopening its doors to the public. It's been closed for nearly three years, undergoing a major refurbishment, renovation and new build. We've got the old areas, the historic areas, Picton Library, Discover, which was the old international library, Hornby Library and Oak Room restored to their beautiful 19th century splendour. We've also got the new build areas, which have a real wow factor. We've got lots of books for people to borrow, lots of computers for people to use. We've got a game area for younger people or those that enjoy playing computer games and listening to music. There's something for everyone in the new central library. As well as books to borrow and the latest computers and iPads for customers, the library will also house the Liverpool Record Office. Manager David Stoker is responsible for around 3 million archive items, charting the history of Liverpool. The uh, archives are going to be moved back into this superb building in a repository that's custom made uh, to preserve them for the long term. And we've got extensive collections, about 3 million items, uh, occupying about 17 kilometres of shelving. And they date from the 13th century right up to the present day. And you've got fantastic range of items like the 1207 charter or letters patent that founded Liverpool through to a, a schoolboy essay by Paul McCartney for the coronation of the Queen. When Liverpool Central Library opens, it will be one of the most advanced libraries in the country, but it stands proud in a long tradition of offering a public space for learning and scholarship, meeting and sharing ideas. This is John Sutton. For LiverpoolEcho.co.uk and LiverpoolDailyPost.co.uk.